It's not so cold this evening. The autumn winds only just started a week or so ago, so I have a while before I really need a heftier jacket. This will be my, my third fall season on this riverside bench. For a little more than two years, I haven't left this site. At least one part of my body, whether it's my butt or my pinky finger, or so the Guinness Book says, has been touching this construction of lumber, paint, and bolts since I first sat down here that warm August morning. I still think it's pretty ludicrous just how many people supported this courageous act of endurance. Once the media focused its spotlight on me, I never had to worry about having enough food, clothes, blankets, or books. Now after two years, I'm not so exciting, but some kind-hearted runners and passerby still drop off half-eaten sandwiches or give me their gloves, enough to get me by. I've kind of transformed into a monument for this part of the city another statue for tourists to take pictures with and pigeons to shit on. It's remarkable, at least I think it is, how when you haven't left a particular space for a long, a really long period of time, time itself becomes kind of blurry. You can't tell how fast or slow it's moving. Two minutes feels the same as two months. It doesn't really matter. Sometimes, when it's really quiet, which is rare with all these goddamn cars rushing by, I get a strange feeling. It's almost like I... 